everybody, it's Alana, and this is... Hey guys, I'm Dad. You guys know I'm Alana's dad. So today's video is a little different. I've been getting a couple emails and questions about how do you winterize your camper. Being it's November, we're going to show you different ways to do it. Some people don't have all the, the tools and stuff that you need, so there's three ways you can winterize a camper. But first, alright, so we, what we brought... So this little tool right here is you connect your water in, in line to an air compressor. I'm going to show you guys that in a second. We also have the thing of antifreeze, right? Can't forget your antifreeze. It takes me about, for my camper, about two and a half of these. I'll show you different ways right now. I've seen people... There's that little what device. I got. I just bought it from Menards. Right? It's called a, it's a blowout fitting. It's a brass one. They make plastic ones. It was like six dollars at Menards. I recommend getting the brass one. This way it lasts a little longer. Okay, so there's three ways you can do it. Dad, would you like to explain this part? <laughs> yeah, there's three ways you can do it to winterize a camper. Uh, one I've seen they actually poured antifreeze down in their water tank system. Two, use a blow off fitting. Or three, you can close out your uh, your hot water tank, valve it off, and then your water pump has a T, which you can suck right into, put the hose right into it, and suck the antifreeze out into the system. We're gonna go through and show you guys right now. But in the meantime, Lana wants to tell you guys something. Tell Dad to buy me an iPhone SE. <laughs> that was not expecting that. <laughs> How do you empty your hot water tank? We're gonna show you guys real quick. Lana, what is this? That is the pressure. Pressure yeah, relief valve. valve. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit that switch. All right, after that, you're gonna see water come out under pressure. Yes. All right, we, don't, we did it already, so that's why you don't see the water come out. After that, you scoop it down. You're gonna take the bolt out. And be careful because it's really sharp. By the way. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. All right, once that's out, you're gonna see all of your water start draining, okay? A so little, little tip so you don't lose this so when you go to de unwinterize your camper, you just set it right here. <laughs> set it right there and leave it. Close her up. She's good. That's how you do it. This is where your water comes out. There's two of them. Some people don't have them. Some people have them. But all you have to do is you just turn it and water comes out and you can just walk away. Easy as, easy as that. Yep, just like Alana said. All right, this is where you empty your water tanks from. Empty your water tanks from right here. I got two on mine. Open them up and you've got to close them. Walk away. Where you fill up your water so what you do is unscrew it and get your antifreeze in there and just put it in there we're not going to show you well we would show you but our camper is already winterized and then put it back on oh right, yeah so like alana just showed you guys once you take this off some people use a funnel a little easier to use a funnel put your antifreeze in there right i'd recommend depending on the size of your camper two two and a half Close that back up, and then run it through your system inside. Okay, so, uh, yeah, just <laughs> that thing right there, just turn it on. Okay, so so if you did the method where you put the antifreeze down your, your main water in line, uh, all you got to do, make sure your water pump is on, kind of what the line is pointing to. Turn your water pump on, open your faucet. Open all the faucets until you see the pink coming out. That means you know the antifreeze ran through your system. Okay, you can run that one, cold water, then hot water. Make sure you hit your shower, your shower head. And if you have an outside shower, make sure you hit each one. Yep, that's it. I still don't know what this thing's for. Okay, so now this option is where you feed your your line coming from your water pump right into your bottle of antifreeze right now this is a cool option if you guys have it or you can just add it on afterwards here's my main line coming in 
right? And what I'll do is I'll turn this valve off. So instead of the water pump pumping from my water tanks, turn this one on. Hit the uh, the water pump, and it's going to start sucking everything from the antifreeze bottle. Then same thing, you just turn all of your faucets on until you see the pink coming out, and so you know all the antifreeze ran through your system. I also shut my hot water tank off. Here's the inline from my. Oh. There's the inline going to my water tank for hot water. I shut that off too as well. Alright, so just remember, if it's sideways, that means it's closed. If it's going with the flow, it means it's open. As you can see, my flooring is starting to crack, the linoleum. It was a cold winter, walking my camper after the winter was over, and it started cracking. Got to replace that this year. Okay, so now for the air compressor method. Uh, don't forget your little air blow-off valve, right? You get that at a local hardware store. Set your compressor for no more than 35 pounds of PSI. Don't want to go any higher than that, reason being, your line's inside, you're gonna break them. Let's go ahead and hook this up. That spins right in. Here it is, your air compressor quick connect. Put this line on. That we recommend doing is make sure you have your faucets open before you turn it on because that pressure, if you have a leaky, leaky pipe, it will crack it. Make sure you have your faucets on inside. Turn the air compressor on. Like I said, no more than 35 pounds of pressure. You go through each one. Open your, your kitchen sink up, your bathroom sink up, your tub, shower. If you got an outside shower, don't forget to do that too. Okay, if you're going to go with a method where you put your antifreeze inside of your, where you fill your water up at, all right, don't forget to turn your water pump on. You, you can hear the water pump kicking on right now. Like I said, mine's already winterized and nothing's going to come out. Leave it on. Like I said, you're going to open your faucets up. All right, once it starts pouring out pink, you know the water went through. You're going to do that to each one. All right, hot and cold. Actually, you can see my pink coming through right now because I already got it in my system. Make sure you hit every sink, every faucet. Okay, so like I said, if you're gonna use the other method where you use the water pump hose line, right? You got you got this one open, your other inline off. Put it inside of your antifreeze. You're gonna see it suck up, suck through the system. Again, you're gonna turn your faucet on. I want to see the pink coming through on each one. It's good. Antifreeze through the system. Like I said, make sure you hit your kitchen faucet, your bathroom faucet, shower faucet, any faucet you have. Go ahead and do both one. Once you're done, make sure you always turn your water pump off. So if you have your air compression line hooked up, like I said, no more than 35 pounds of PSI. Make sure you have your faucets open before you turn your air compressor on. I like to do that. Just in case, like I said, maybe you have some weak lines in your system, you're going to crack them. One person inside, one person outside, faucets open, turn all of them on. Uh, then once it's, you turn your air compressor on, you can turn some of them off, and you're going to see the water just shooting out. Once the water's done spraying out, close that side, open up the other side, do your kitchen, right? Your bathroom, tub, shower, outside shower, or any other lines you have in your system. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go down below, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification, also, and tell your friends because, like, share it. Yeah. Share it. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a quick little learning session, and she showed you guys how to do it. We talked a little bit about it. If you got any questions, just comment down below and let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. This is the the water hole thing I'm about